Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're looking at the concept of being highly fault tolerant. And this is your ability for your service to ensure there is no single point of failure preventing the chance of failure. So when we looked at high availability, we had also said that it was no point of failure. But when we really talk about that, we're really talking about being highly fault tolerant because there is the word failure in the word, and that is what being fault tolerant is. And so how do we prevent failure? Well, we use the concept of failovers. So failovers is when you have a plan to shift traffic to a redundant system in the case a primary system fails. And so I have a graphic here that represents um, a primary database uh, failing over to a secondary database. And I have a bit of a description here. So the idea is that we have um, a copy of our production database, and we're going to call that a secondary system. Uh, and the idea here is that every time something is written to our primary database, it's going to be synced. So it's going to be sent over to our secondary database. So it's up to date with the latest database. And then if uh, the primary database uh, happens to fail for whatever reason, whether it's hardware or otherwise, something's going to detect that there's something wrong with the primary and it's going to fail over to the secondary. And the secondary is going to be promoted uh, to being the primary instance. And the key thing to understand is that that's, that secondary is standby. It's not in actual use. Uh, it's only in use when the failover occurs. So what would you use in Azure to uh, build out a highly fault tolerant system? That's where Azure Traffic Manager comes into play. Um, so with this, uh, and this works at the DNS level. Um, and so the idea here is that you can uh, fail over from a primary system at the DNS level to a standby. This is really great if you have regional failures. You could probably also use a load balancer, but this is the case that I'm showing here. But there you go.